Am I the asshole for telling my girlfriend to shut the fuck up after she insulted my sister's thighs? I'm 30 and my 12 year old sister is living with me right now because mom and pops are vulnerable so it made more sense for me to care for my sis for the time being. She is a really great kid and to be honest I feel in a lot of ways like she's my own kid because my mom and dad don't speak English so I kind of had to raise my sis in ways that they couldn't. Hard to explain but I'm sure anyone with a secondary culture will get what I mean my mom and dad are great parents but having an English speaking person to guide you through shit when you live in an English speaking country is invaluable emo and my sister trusts me with stuff she won't necessarily trust my parents with. Anyway my girlfriend was facetiming me and my sister walked past in shorts and a t-shirt cause it's hot. My sister girlfriend waited till my sister had left the area, but not the room, and made a face and said maybe feed her less OP, her thighs are kinda chunky. I saw red and told her to shut the fuck up, just came out my mouth, and immediately ended the call. My sister is a bit chubby but FFS who says stuff like that about a 12 year old girl. Literally. Everybody. I know. Has been texting me that I'm a pos boyfriend and that how can I disrespect my girlfriend like that. I am expecting an apology from her but to my shock everybody is expecting me to apologize. So Reddit, am I the asshole? Not the asshole. 12 year old girls are incredibly vulnerable to body image issues. You're absolutely right to shut down such comments immediately. Even if she didn't hear it, would you ever want to subject your sister to her down the road? Like, what will she say to her when you aren't within earshot? Your sister will be able to pick up on and feel that cold slash mean vibe. Agree. OP, toss the whole girlfriend away. And the friends. Right? Why do so many people on here say their friends get involved in this stuff and tell them they're an asshole? It's one thing if you ask for advice or tell them but it's another if they text you unprompted about it. For one if my boyfriend and I fight I don't run and tell everyone about it, and for two if my friend tells me about a fight I don't run and tell the boyfriend that he's an asshole. I give her advice and console her and move on. Who are these people? This. I always see people's friends and families getting involved in their issues and I'm like what? Why? Golden rule, keep your friends and family out of you and your significant other's relationship. Only bad things can happen. All my friends have been texting me I'm TA well then stop giving a flying fuck what other people think and worry about your shit. It blows my mind how much some people define their lives by others approval. I guess I'm lucky that I don't feel any of that pressure. It's also possible to take that attitude too far. Don't act some way because you want approval, but if 10 people are saying you're TA then it's worth pausing and considering. But maybe instead of seeking the approval of strangers on Reddit, OP could ask some other friends who haven't heard the GF's version of events. It happens for the same reason people go to Reddit for judgment. Unfortunately, not anonymous. They feel adamant about their stance and want support from others or they may question their stance and need feedback. Regardless, outside people shouldn't be brought in when they are friends, colleagues or acquaintances and maybe even family. At least with Reddit there is an element of privacy. Also, a vast pool of people with different perspectives who aren't close to the issue or either person. Let's be real, his girlfriend probably didn't say exactly what she said. It probably went like this, guys, my boyfriend just told me to shut the fuck up and hung up on me. Why would he do that? I told him his sister is gaining weight, wanted to look out for her and he flew off the handle. Wow. What an asshole. I have no doubt she more than likely conveniently left out the fact that she called a 12 year old chunky thighs. You could be right. It makes sense I guess. She sounds horrible. He sounds awesome. They shouldn't be together. See, I can't understand the outside parties jumping in. I have my mom and my best friend that I talk to. If I get into a big fight with my significant other I can talk it out with them. But part of that is because if I was the one in the wrong both of them would not hesitate to tell me I fucked up. They also would never go to my significant other and tell them what they think. They are a sounding board for me and don't wedge themselves into the relationships. I don't understand the people that do that. There are people out there who, when they do something questionable and aren't certain they can win the argument one-on-one, -on -one, will quickly go around and organize everyone in their common friend group to be on their side. Usually, the tactic involves telling a semi-accurate, but slightly skewed version of what happened. It's just enough to make a bunch of these common friends feel like they have to call out the other person. This tends to happen a lot in drama-filled social groups. My wife was in such a group many years ago when we first met. The childish way these people acted was amazing, and the organize and attack thing happened with alarming frequency. 
They were all big partiers, and going out drinking every night was basically all they had in common. OP might be well advised to do what my wife did, and just dump the whole dysfunctional friend group, including GF, and find a better class of friends. I have been on the attack side of this situation way too much. People need to mind their own business and understand that what other people do with their lives is not something they should get involved with. Exactly. Girlfriend probably exaggerated or lied to make herself sound like a victim. Tell it like it is and anyone who agrees with her or thinks OP is still the ah is not a good person. She probably made the story sound a little different and made herself seem like an innocent girlfriend being randomly yelled at for no reason. The friends really need to get both sides of the story though. I was just worried about her health and he completely overreacted. How my mom justifies calling me fat for $500, Alex. Yeah, I hate this shit. You know nothing about someone else's health by looking at them. Agreed. I do not understand why people do this. You hear one side of a story and pile on the other person. I find it toxic. Maybe. What story were the friends told? We need more data here. I honestly think the friends weren't told the whole story by the, hopefully ex, girlfriend. Put her in the bin. This ex a million. If the girlfriend will say it behind the sister's back to you, eventually she will say it in front of the sister too. Not only that, why would you want to be with someone who even thought in such superficial, petty, ugly ways about someone you love? Happy cake day. Not the asshole you definitely said a lot by telling your girlfriend to STF you and hanging up on her. If your sister saw that she'll know you had her back. That means a lot. And cut those assholes are of your life. If they know what happened and are mad at you, they suck. They suck but. Keep being the big brother you are. To be fair, these people heard only one side of the story. And I doubt that side would be all that accurate. Which is why you don't take a side, you just nod your head and say that's a pity, Hope it works out you don't start firing off fucking messages calling the other party an asshole that makes you an asshole. Was thinking the same here. They're either huge pieces of garbage or left out of the loop. They talked with him. They had both sides of the story available or they couldn't have told him anything. OP never said they talked. He said he's been getting messages. That doesn't mean he's explained anything to them and they have both sides of the story. Ditch this one, OP she's a trash human. He also didn't mention anyone asking his side of the story. As a rule, people who start a conversation, including text, with judgment rather than curiosity are not people you want in your life. Brother of the year, more 12 year olds need adults to put other adults in their place when discussing body image. Girlfriend is awful and should know better. Hopefully the girlfriend realizes how great of a guy you are and changes her tone. She had a chance to change her tone, and instead went and spun the narrative to make her look good and alienate the op from their entire friend group. I'd say she has no emotional awareness. Second this. My stepdaughter is 12 and quite skinny, but literally everything will make her feel fat and she'll want to starve herself or just put herself down. Very vulnerable age. Not the asshole, you're doing the right thing by standing up for her. God yeah, I remember being 12 and relatively comfortable in my own skin, or at least not thinking about shit like weight at all. I was at a cookout and I had seen a girl on TV in shorts and a midriff tank top and thought she was so cool, so I had emulated her with shorts and a sports bra. I was sunburnt and happy and the barbecue had been great, necessitating the undoing of my top button because kids are still prone to lil pot bellies. And then my mother hissed at me that I was embarrassing myself, half dressed with my butt hanging out and my gut busting through my shorts and barbecue sauce on my face, if I was going to dress like that I needed to lose some weight because nobody wants to see a half-naked chubby girl. To this day I am deeply, irrationally uncomfortable with my belly showing. I don't even like bikinis. I'm sorry that happened to you. There are some very cute chubby girls that show their midriff and it's fine. Here's the upside. Even if she did hear it she also heard her brother fight and stand up for her which is invaluable. Let's say she did hear what your girlfriend said, so what's the next thing she heard? You defending her. That's what she'll focus on when she remembers it later, that you went to bat for her immediately and defended her and that is absolutely what matters most. My little sister is 13 years my junior and I practically raised her, I would be so livid if anyone attacked her. She's a child. What gives her the right? Would she say that to an adult? I feel like you need to evaluate your girlfriend's capacity for kindness. 
You did the right thing, don't make it wrong by apologizing. Hate to be negative but while maybe some part of her will hear the defense if she struggles with self-esteem that part of her mind will immediately take the issues between OP and girlfriend and tell her, see you ruin everything. You are destroying your brother's relationship. I say this because a very similar situation happened with one of my family members who deals with self-esteem and depression. We discovered years later that they were still blaming themselves for that incident and using it to tell themselves they were worthless. No evidence the sister deals with depression but my advice is to make sure they know this was your decision and that your life is brighter because of her. If you didn't tell your friends what happened during the conversation, that means your GF did. If they're now telling you to apologize, then she's twisted and warped the story to somehow make her look like the victim and not the 12-year-old girl she horrifically insulted, because no one in their right mind would support someone who said something that mean and she knows it. You are not the asshole in your, ex? Girlfriend is definitely the huge ah. In regards to your sister being a tiny bit chubby, that is completely normal as well. Most pre-teens get a little bit of puppy fat as the growth from child to teen uses that extra weight as energy for the process. My 12-year-old son six months ago was around 35 kilograms and looked rather chunky, he has since grown 15 centimeters and still at the same weight, but now looking on the skinny side of things. Not the asshole in any way. I applaud you for calling her out on her BS and ending the call. I agree, this happened to my cousin. I'd say as long as you encourage good eating habits then I wouldn't be worried about the weight either. She's still growing. I have a 12-year-old sister-in-law who lives with us and they are so insecure at this age already. I think it's fairly common for them to be that size at this age too, right before the puberty growth spurt happens. Their hormones are really starting to kick in at this age. As a girl, your girlfriend should have known better. As an adult, she should have really known. What kind of adult even trashes a kid's weights and looks though? Brutal. Don't bring it up. If she did hear, your response was excellent. Just keep supporting her. You're a great man. OP your girlfriend on the other hand is just awful. Take it from someone who has two brothers, who are honestly my best friends to this day, and who used to be the chubby girl in middle school. The relationship you have with your sister will be 10x more meaningful than the one with your girlfriend so please rethink it. She sucks. If she did overhear you GF's comment, I hope she at least also heard the way you shut her down. Though really, I hope she didn't hear it all. This. I was 12 when I was told I was overweight. I was 5 feet and 120 pounds, and while that is overweight, I still had over 6 years to grow into it. I had already had body dysmorphia and other issues, so this only made it worse. I stopped valuing myself as a person and felt like my weight defined me. I would eat to cope because I had no one to support me, my grandma was depressed because her daughter, my mom, died, she could barely take care of herself. I wouldn't change in front of people and elected to change in the independent shower stalls during gym class. By 11th grade I was 210, while it wasn't just fat gain as I was very into weight lifting and went hard during gym classes, but I'm still fucked up to this day. Stop body shaming people, of any age. My son used to say he was fat and had flabs. He ate the same as his brother and sister, just had a different metabolism. I told him it's my job to worry about his diet, not his, and that he'd grow out of it when he took a stretch. It was just puppy fat. And guess what? He did. Kids being a bit overweight isn't always diet related. They need to be made to feel comfortable in their own skin. This is beautiful, brilliant, present, mindful, simple advice. I wasn't on this post looking for advice specifically on this subject. But my seven-year-old daughter is overweight, sneaking snacks out of boredom, and having divorced parents, and a lot of back and forth. But, the advice that it's not her identity, and that it's temporary, and she'll grow out of it when she took a stretch, is so great. My mind doesn't sit much in the present. I very much set in the future, in worry, or the past, in shame talking myself down. She needs to be made to feel comfortable in her own skin heart. Same, when I look back at my old pics I was a tall, if anything lanky child with strong shoulders because of swimming but I remember hating my body because my grandmother and mother decided to transfer their frustrations on me and kept calling me fat even though I wasn't. I turned to food for comfort and quit sports because they meant being around other people. Great parenting all around. Oh my god, are you me? Swap swimming for basketball, I had strong thighs from running, jumping, and squatting but my mom kept being worried about my weight. I would wake up in the middle of the night to snack because she would hide food from me during the day. And the amount of calories I was burning as an athlete? I'm sure I was being way underfed until I went to school. 
I'm 27 and just now repairing my fucked up relationship with food. I binge ate for a years once I moved out because it was the first time no one was policing my food intake. Which did lead to weight gain, which then lead to my mom throwing at my face that how she raised me was right along because look at me now. Agreed. I had body issues when I was younger, 34 meters, and evening though I wasn't teased much about it I was hard on myself. Fast forward to university and I was on an NCAA Div 1 swim team and 6'2 plus 175 pounds anyways it was very hard to give up eating whatever I wanted and when my training stopped I started gaining weight to the point all my clothes were tight. Which brings me to what your comment said. I got body shamed at 21 years old, at my grandfather's funeral, in the visitation line by two-thirds of my extended family because my dress shirt's buttons were pulled tight. Luckily my best friend was just coming through to pay his respects when I heard the snickering. So I told him what was going on and he offered to drive me home, so I left mid-visitation. Years later this one event still sticks in my mind, and no I don't talk to the family I know was making fun on me. Edit, op is not the asshole. My mom told me I had fat thighs when I was around that age, too. Looking at pictures and thinking back to what I weighed, I was actually close to underweight for my height slash age. Not the asshole. I'm so glad your sister has you to reassure her. Things like this can definitely fuck a person up for years. Speaking from experience. I was 15 when my boyfriend told me I had fat thighs. I was 5 apostrophe 7 and 105 pounds a doctor had just suggested to my mother that I might have an eating disorder a couple of months before. My sweet quiet mother who never had a harsh word for anyone raised her voice and shut that down real quick, and I'm eternally grateful. I can speak from experience. It absolutely will fuck someone up. I was first put on a diet by my mom in the fourth grade and she hyper-policed my food intake until I moved out at 19. For reference, I was a two-sport athlete in great shape, but because I had a strong frame instead of a thin frame, she kept insisting I was fat compared to my slim friends. I'm 27 years old and I just got control on my binge eating disorder, and so far I've lost 15 pounds, but have 35 pounds to go until I'm in healthy weight range again. It's been incredibly hard on my self-esteem, on my relationships and friendships, and especially my mental health. It's been a very difficult journey to overcome, and if I have kids, I'll never talk about their bodies like that because it left such a lasting impact on me. I've always been overweight and it took me over a decade to recover from things my own family had said to me about my weight growing up. My entire family except for my grandmother is overweight. My grandmother was a 1930s cheerleader who stood at a lousy 94 pounds her whole life with osteoporosis always made comments to my parents when we would visit growing up on top of me getting picked on at school. When I was 16, I developed anorexia. I lost 60 pounds my grandmother died when I was 14. Never got to see it and good riddance it took me until I was in my early 20s, I'm 29 now, that I became real comfortable with my body and self to accept that I'm always going to be thick. But hey, I'm at 155 now and got the big boobs and big butt and my boyfriend loves it. I wish I could have told my grandma to STFU. Yep, it literally can only take one sentence to give a girl an issue about her body for the rest of her life. And personally, chunky thighs are definitely a soft spot. So much this. Your words may have been a little harsh, but certainly not unwarranted. Not the asshole. As someone who has and always had thicker thighs, a girl I was friends with made a comment about me having thunder thighs in front of a big group of people when we were 12 and it stuck with me forever. I'm 22 and have a muscular build but I still feel self-conscious about my thighs and probably always will. Not the asshole and this is a huge red flag. Why would you want to date someone that insulted your little sister like that? You're right you're right, I don't want to date anybody who insults anyone like that. She's never said anything like that before and probably never will cause it's completely changed how I see her. You're an actual good guy dude. You deserve better. Right? OP, the kind of person who takes care of his sister, happily, has for a very long time and still compliments their parents saying that they are good people. OP's GF, the kind of person who insults a little girl's body and feels like that behavior is appropriate enough to admit to her friends? The friends suck too. GF has her own body image issues to work through obviously. I wonder who called her chunky when she was 12. The maybe feed her less comment is an insult to OP as well. Not only is she insulting the kid, but also implying that OP, who is going out of his way to take care of his sister and help his parents during this situation, is part of the reason she's chunky. R slash good, dudes. Was gonna say that, 
OP sounds like a truly lovely person and his lil sis is lucky to have him. He deserves an amazing partner who is as kind and caring. You're a great older sibling. Also keep in mind it's completely normal for girls to go through a chubby phase. Fat redistribution is a part of puberty and as long as she's eating good food then a little extra nutrients will be in her favor. Don't let anyone make her feel bad for having a normal growing body. Absolutely this. And especially at that age if the child isn't obese, but simply a little chunky, the guidance is not to put them on a reduced calorie diet. Instead, you teach healthy diet and lifestyle choices and maintain. As she grows, she will thin out. The question is when will my chubby phase end frown jokes aside it's normal for a 12-year-old to be a bit overweight or a bit underweight. Puberty changes everything lamal. Right? I was a twig until I was about 15, and my friend had a lot of extra weight, but that's just how things are until you go through puberty. And unless she's obese, you don't call attention to it, and definitely not like girlfriend did. Not the asshole. When I was in my teens, I'd put on a little weight, then hit a growth spurt and lean out in cycles. Not to mention, the fact that people are texting you about it means that she is telling people about it and making you look like a bad guy behind your back. If she actually felt bad about making fun of a 12-year-old's appearance, she would do her best to make sure nobody besides you found out about her comment. I guarantee that no one has found out about her comment. She's almost certainly running around talking about how she was just trying to look out for OP's sister and how she's worried about her weight. She'll probably try to pull the same gaslighting BS next time OP talks to her. Right. I just meant that it's clear she doesn't think she did anything wrong. I put my foot in my mouth sometimes and say things I really wish I hadn't. If this had been the case here, she'd be mad for a minute or two that she got hung up on, and then reflect and be embarrassed about what came out of her mouth. Preferably she'd come around and apologize, at worst, she'd just pretend it never happened. Instead, she's going out of her way to make OP look bad. She is doubling down and trying to make OP seem like the bad guy to other people she is doubling down and trying to make OP seem like the bad guy to other people who should have never found out that there was any conversation to shut down in the first place. She doesn't want to face him herself, so she's getting others too, without proper context, bully him into apologizing to her. Agreed. It's a really bad sign that she's trying to twist this around. I don't know how someone could body shame a 12-year-old and still see themselves as the victim. I mean, I understand that she does, but I can't really wrap my head around it. I wish I had someone like you growing up. Those type of comments really fuck me up. I'd never want anyone to go through what I'm going through with body image issues. You're a good brother for standing up to you GF. Not the asshole. Not to mention, your girlfriend apparently has been telling everyone you both know what happened. She is clearly telling them her version of this incident, in which she is the victim. So not only is she the type of person to body shame a 12-year-old, she will run to her friends and whine to them about you instead of trying to work things out. Not a good sign. Thank you for protecting your sister like that. You're a good person, your sister is lucky to have a big brother like you. Also throwing this out there because you're 30 and shit happens. Can you imagine having a kid with this woman, and that kid turned out to be a girl? She would most likely be a toxic mom who constantly body shames. Don't walk run away from this relationship. You also definitely don't want to have kids with this woman, her kids are destined to have eating disorders. Not only insulted your kid sister unprompted, but went on further to smear you with her side of the story to all your mutual friends ASAP. She sounds pretty toxic. Don't let this toxicity around your future children, period. Who would say that about a 12-year-old girl, let alone your boyfriend's sister? Someone who will pull apart her own daughter and make her insecure. Also, if I was any of her friends I'd tell her to shut the fuck up and apologize, so her friends are also drinking the Kool-Aid. Red flags galore, proceed with caution. I never forgot the comments made, no matter how little, when I was that age and growing thighs and breasts. Your little sister doesn't need women like her in her life. Exactly, and even if it were someone else she's talking about I would have felt offended. It says a lot about her how she talks about others when they're not around. And then tells her friends about it. I am sure she didn't tell the friends what she said. I am sure she spun it as we were talking and then he suddenly told me to shut fuck up and hung up on me. I have no idea why he did that to me. Also, if you ever have plans on having children with this person, they're really going to fuck up your kid's body image. If you like the video, 
hit that subscribe button for more content. I post every day and I'll see you next time with more stories.